Hey guys, how are you doing? Happy Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, hump day, hump day. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday night to you or evening, depending on where you're tuning in from. My name is Tracy and I am here with Tracy's Fancy and, um, and Dixie Bell on their page. Thank you so much for popping on. Say hello when you come on, please. So I know that I'm not alone and that you are here with me like Miss Janet Perez. Happy Wednesday, hun. Thank you for joining in. Um, I am gonna be here right here on Wednesday nights, every other Wednesday night. I believe that I am flip-flopping um, with Brittany Dunn, I believe. So every Wednesday night, you will either have me or you will have Brittany right here on this page. And we both have very similar styles in painting. Um, we both paint with a lot of whimsy. So I'm gonna call it Whimsical Wednesdays. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. On the opposite nights that I'm not live right here, I will also be live over on my Facebook page on Tracy's Fancy, so you can catch me over there. Hey, you guys. Hi, Christy and Carrie and Lorraine. Hello there. And Tracy, hi. Hello, everyone. I hope you guys are having a good week. It has been um, kind of crazy weather here. Forgive me for uh, the baseball cap. I really don't like when people wear baseball caps on live videos because, you know, they're, it's like you're hidden behind your cap. I don't know. So I'm going to try to keep it cocked up, but it's been a, a very wet day and I've been in and out all day long in the rain and um, I you didn't want me to take my hat off. So it's a hat kind of day. Uh, so I just want to say thank you so much for joining me. We are finally going to wrap up this bed, y'all. Um, this is my third time live with you guys. The first time we just painted and we did this transfer right here um, from Redesign. We did that transfer right up there and it says Free Spirit. And then we've got it painted in Colonel Mustard, and the, just two colors. Colonel Mustard and Rebel Yellow. You can see the two yellows. That's a really good way also to see the difference between the two yellows um, since they are side by side. Um, oh, Melissa, thank you. That's a really, that is a um, nice of you to bring that up. So, so sweet of you. I just posted a crazy over the top whimsical piece. If you want to go check it out on my Facebook page at Tracy's Fancy, it is a huge seven foot maybe a little bit taller uh, Amar that I used all Dixie Belle and Redesign products on. Um, just today I went back and listed the colors that I used for people, um, but it's a laundry list of supplies to do that. That was done during my uh, Whimsical University course. It was a seven week process. So that will be out on my blog. If you wanna join me at tracysfancy.com, sign up for, for my email. It will give you like the whole full list there. So, um, Yes, this is Colonel Mustard and Rebel Yellow are the two colors that we have gone with. Had I started this live about a week later, I would have loved to have used um, the colors from the flea market decor. Hold on just a second. Let me go grab that one. Hold on. This color is very, very similar, and I would have loved to have used it as well. Hold on, let me plug back in. Okay, I would have loved to have used this color, but I started this bed before I actually got the new, um, I think there's five colors in the new flea market decor. This one right here, it's called the Golden Years, and it's very, very similar to the bed. Um, but yeah, these are in my Dixie Belle Colonel Mustard Rebel Yellow. So what we did the last time that I was on with you guys, um, we did stripes down here on the footboard. So I really seriously, I'm gonna angle the camera so you guys can see that. Um, these are not done, these are done. I um, really don't have like a vision for this bed yet because I was trying to keep it really simple and uh, very boho, um, but simple and just kind of be like a yellow guest bed or to go in a teen bedroom. And I'm struggling with that, y'all. I'm really struggling with that. I'm wanting to put, there's so many options, so many opportunities. Look at this down here. 
Okay, so look at the, the molding that's going on down here. Um, you've got it up in the on the corner of each part of the bed. Um, it's got a curved side on it that's like a whole panel to me that's just begging for some attention. And I really, I would like to kind of throw some whimsy down on this bed and I'm, so I'm struggling with it. I thought I could stop with just the transfer and the stripes and I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know that I can do that. But regardless, we're not doing this bed anymore. Three times on one project is enough for me. Three videos on one project. So, um, uh, thank you all for telling me where y'all are tuning in from. And y'all, um, don't forget to click that little button on your, uh, that, that share button, on your screen that uh, lets people know that we're live if they want to jump in and watch us work here. Uh, don't forget also that we don't, please, who's thinking about going to the, anyone gonna be anywhere near California in September? It's a beautiful time of year. Looky there, how weird. Sarah just said she's from Sacramento, California. Isn't that funny? I just asked. So Sarah, are you going to the workshop? Are you going to the workshop in September? the Redesign and Prima Workshop. I'm gonna be there. Several of the other uh, brand ambassadors that, that, you, that you guys watch right here will be there. It's gonna be a wonderful weekend. I would love to see y'all there. They are actually offering anyone that has signed up already or signs up before May the 14th gets $200 in free product. Or not anyone, I'm sorry. Anyone that signs up before then, they put into a drawing and someone is going to win $200 in free product. Huge difference there, right? Uh, so someone would let win um, $100 in Dixie Belle paint products and another one is going to, and that same person will win $100 in uh, redesign products from Prima as well. So, Eufaula, I've never heard of that, Michelle. I've never heard of Eufaula. Eufaula, Oklahoma. Okay, so I've got my, let's get moving on the stripes because I want them to dry before um, we move on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this side right here. I'm gonna angle the camera down just a little bit. Um, I am using the wider tape right now and I know that we, I'm not sure I have enough tape to do this, so we may be winging it with a little bit smaller tape. You can see it's not that big of a difference, but there is definitely a difference. So if you have not seen us do stripes on here, this is a super simple tip, and I'm always amazed at how many people actually have not seen anyone do stripes. So let me, I'm not gonna waste my, uh, the wide tape that I need. No specific tape, you guys. I don't have a favorite. I just, whatever, whatever I come home with either blue or green, which is the 3M or the frog, it doesn't matter to me. So right now I'm just gonna measure how wide this is and make this as my measurement. So hold up just a second here. There we go, that's how wide. That is now the same width as this. I was just making it the same width. So I've got a stripe going every other one. Um, this one is yellow, so I'm gonna cover that up with tape. <clears throat> so. Right, is that the same tape I did? Is it? I can't tell. Yeah, it is. All right, so we wanna keep that one yellow. So every other one, we're just gonna put some tape down. One suggestion that I have when you are taping, I have my microphone on, you guys, because I'm gonna have my back to you a lot. So um, you should be able to hear me really well, even though I've got my back to you. Um, I like to tell you to always get, turn around like this and look at your project straight on when you are doing stripes. You've got to step away every few tapes, step back, look at your project straight on, and make sure that your, stri that your uh, stripes are straight. So next, this is what I'm calling my spacer. I'm just putting it down just like that because that tells me where I need to lay my, my next piece of tape down. Um, even though it looks straight from a side angle, like I'm sitting right now, uh, you'd be surprised. You think that you're straight and then you step back and look and just slowly but surely your stripes have just started to kind of work their way over like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So, um, always, always step back and look, take a straight on look, okay? So, that's going to be dark yellow, dark yellow. There we go. I'm gonna keep going. I know that I'm gonna run out of tape here and we're gonna be winging it with the, with the green tape, which, you know what, that's probably something good for me to share because 
We have to be resourceful um, as creators, just like moms. Um, we have to learn to be resourceful and use what we have. And I don't always have the exact size tape on, and I'm all are the exact size tape available, and I am always trying to figure out a way to make it work. I do not measure. I never ever measure. I very rarely measure. Um, I've got a little piece up here I want to put down. Let's see. South Georgia. We've got Lynette in Michigan. Hello, hon. How are you? I keep thinking every time I pull this that it's going to be the last pull. Like that. So I will tell you while I'm doing this that there are some other colors that I'm going to consider putting on the bed. I've got them set aside over here. Um, if y'all look at the transfer that's up there, it has got some grays, some lavenders. Um, it's got red, fuchsia, black. I really would like to add some black and white. I always use, if you saw my crazy piece, you know that I always use, hi Dana, hi Susie. Oh, from Corsicana. We are, we're like family. Um, I try to put black and white on, on almost all of my pieces. Um, I also use a lot of leopard on my pieces, but I do not want to put leopard on this bed, even though there are some leopard prints in um, some of the transfer that I used, but I just didn't feel like that was the direction I really wanted to go with this bed in particular. But I do think I could put some black and white on it. All right. We, who knows, guys? We might actually have enough enough tape. How are my stripes looking? Because y'all are my step back and look. I haven't stepped back and looked. How are they looking? Looking pretty straight. Uh, Cedar Hill is where Dana is. Wow, you guys, we got a lot of Texas on here. I did notice that um, I have seen that a, a, we have a lot of Texas followers for Dixie Belle. Is it the name? Is it the southern name of the paint? Is, um, no, it's not the name. It's the amazing product. Okay, I think that one's a little bit crooked, so let's step back and look at that. I just feel like, yeah, I was right. See, you guys, they're starting to lean a little bit. It just happens. If you do, if you do not step back and watch um, and look, they start to lean. It doesn't help that my workshop floor is crooked. So, um, and you may see that, which I think it's kind of funny. If you ever notice when you're looking at any of my um, photo shoots or any of my pieces of furniture, like the big piece that I posted yesterday, um, just take note that sometimes no matter how much I try to, try to straighten them out, my photos look crooked. Well, it's because my floor and my garage ceiling don't match. One goes at an angle and one is straight. So no matter what, if it's a tall piece, it looks crooked in the picture. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's all we got. That's, all, that's the last piece. Let's see if, how we can make do with this last piece. All right, so... That looks pretty straight, and I'm down to, um, actually, I'm going to straighten that up just a bit. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I don't think I'm going to put another piece down there on their end. I just kind of shared the difference there with the tape, and I think I'm going to leave it like that. All right. Okay, so who can tell me what's next? Hello from New Zealand. Evelyn, or is it, oh, Elwyn, Elwyn. Hey, Miss Jean Dar, how are you? And Vicki. Um, okay, so who can tell me what's next? Next, you need to go back and you wanna rub really hard with your fingers on the edge of your tape and make sure that your sides are down really well, just like this. This is gonna give you a perfect stripe every single time. Stripes do so many wonderful things for your designs when you're painting furniture if you want to just take it from boring to not so boring um last three are leaning a little bit oh mercy sakes let's see actually i think my last three are not i think i need to straighten this one up i think my last three i straightened them i think that my first few were a little crooked. It's, it's hard to tape from the side. It just is hard to tape 
from a sideways angle. I always try to do it when I'm on live video and it's, um, it's, it's not easy. Always, always, always tape from a straight on. That, there's, your, there's your reason, guys, right there. All right, so I think that's better. Whoever said that, thank you for noticing, and it was actually those two I think that we needed to fix. Okay, so you wanna go back and rub really hard. Uh, stripes to me add a lot of character. They also add um, kind of some clean lines when you have a lot of chaos going on on a piece. So if you're trying to step it up from being just super, super um, uh, basic um, and you want to just add a little bit of pizzazz and you don't want to go over the top, you can just add it with some stripes. And you don't have to have it be different colors. Like So if you see right here behind me, that's called tone on tone, tone on tone. So it's just using two shades of the same color. So if we had done nothing more to this bed than just that, no transfer, nothing else, just that, that adds a lot of personality and a lot of charm to the piece. So, um, all right, let's see. I'm just gonna use my finger. Um, well, I'll use my brush. Let's see, oh shoot. I need my Rebel Yellow. Hold tight, please hold. Okay, Rebel Yellow. All right, so what you do is whatever your base coat color is, whatever color you've already painted in, you wanna use that to go back and burnish the sides of your tape. So hi, Crystal. So um, next you paint with the base coat to stop the bleeding. Very, very, very good, Marcia. She answered me correctly, that is right. You wanna go back and you paint with the base coat to stop your uh, bleed from under your tape. I'm gonna get my jar open. And I, uh, I just usually use my lid just like this. This is my Rebel Yellow. And I just go back right over the edge of that piece of tape, just like that. Um, and you don't need a lot. All you're doing is sealing that edge. You're just fill, filling any empty negative space between the edge and, um, and the tape. Because there is empty space there, no matter how hard you've pushed it down, I, I promise you there is empty space there and if you put that other coordinating color on next to it it is going to seep underneath that negative space or that empty space and you're going to end up with bleed through so what this does is this is seeping under our tape right now it's going under the tape i promise you it is in some areas and and then it's going to dry so then when we put our other color against it it can't seep underneath those spots anymore because um, this has already filled that spot. So then when you remove the tape, you have a nice clean line. So it's just called burnishing your edges. And I just do it with my fingers, just like this. Inga's saying hello to everyone. You guys, please don't forget to let your friends know that we're on, if you don't mind. Um, tag someone in it if you want, or just let them know. Push that little S-H-A-R-E button. So I wonder if they found out anymore. I know that we quit doing um, we quit doing the giveaways that you know Facebook has decided that they don't want us um, doing that during our live videos. And if we do, did y'all know that? Did y'all know that's why they did it? Then they don't they don't feed it out to as much, as big of an audience. They kind of halt the amount of people that they'll show your your live to. So we had to quit talking about. Uh, giving free paint and stuff like that because they're listening they're listening to us they're they have joined our they've joined our program right here hey hey Rachel Jean thank you I know I never ever paint with yellow and I very rarely paint with uh, not you know not a whole lot of details so this has been difficult for me <laughs> But I'm ready to get these stripes done and I wanna get the transfers on because we're gonna put a few um, transfers. That's actually a different transfer. Um, that one up there is a different one than the one we're gonna put on the footboard, but they, they coordinate really well together. And um, I can't even tell you what the name of this new one is that we're gonna put on 
tonight on the footboard because they sent it to me not in the normal tubes that the transfers come in. They sent it to me just rolled up with a rubber band. And so I was like, well, shoot, I don't know what the name of it is. Um, I think it has something to do with like, I don't know. I know some other brand ambassadors have used it. Maybe they know the name of it. Um, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we're gonna let that dry. And these are not the feathers. Well, we might use the feathers, I'm not sure. But this is what the, the they're blooms. They're, but they're kind of, they kind of look like weeds. They don't, they don't even really look, they're not blossoms or anything. They're just these, they look like weeds to me. <laughs> they look like a field of weeds or a, something that would be in a crop, except they're in these vibrant colors. But it's, it's the shape of just tall, scraggly weeds. <laughs> I'm not real sure what it is. I don't know. But they do go, if you look up close, you can see that they do have reds and teals and blues and they have all of this background pattern that's in them. That is all of the same background patterns that are in that piece up there. It's the same thing. So, oh, Vicki, really? I'm so glad. See, every single time, every single time I share it, someone says they've never seen it before. So, you know, that just makes me really happy. All right, so normally I would, uh, normally I would put a heat gun on this, but I forgot to set my heat gun up before I sat down here, and I don't feel like going over there and hauling a cord over here. Actually, I could, but this dries really fast. That's the beauty of, um, most chalk paints dry really fast, but Dixie Bells dries fast and it dries smooth. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in with my Rebel Yellow. So I'm just using a small artist brush right now to do this. Um, I have all of my brushes set out here, but I like to have a little bit closer, more control while I do this. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys in just a smidge. Let me get my shoes out of the way. Here we go. And here we go, okay. Bye, Georgia, good to see you on here. Yes, exactly, while it's not raining, it's been a mess. Okay, so this is my uh, Rebel Yellow, yeah, I mean, uh, this is my Colonel Mustard. I've just got a small one inch artist brush here and I'm just gonna start filling in the space here um, between my tape that I've already burnished so I should not have any bleed through. And this goes really fast and I know that on the last slide video I showed you how quickly we did half of that footboard right there. And I think everybody was like, what? You did that so fast, but it is, it doesn't take a while. It's just the taping does. But once you've got it all taped off, it goes really fast. Now, something else I explained to y'all last time, two weeks ago, is that I don't, I don't do the whole thing and then walk away. I remove my tape as I go. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Chris. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this tape off. The reason I do that is because I don't want it to build, to dry, and then when I pull my tape off, it were to pull any of my paint, and I also um, don't like it to build up a lip. Like, have you ever tried to do stripes or a design on a piece of furniture and you go and you can rub your hand across it and you can feel like an edge? Well, that's because it's kind of filled in there and, and dried like that. I also, there's something, a step I forgot. Do y'all remember something else that I did last time we did this, you guys? Think about, there's a step I, I usually do when y'all see me doing stripes or working with tape. Is there something I usually do with it before I put it on my furniture? Can anyone tell me? Somebody tell me. Let's see, Amy. Thank you, Amy. Hey, Rima. Hi, honey. How are you feeling? You feeling pretty good, girl? You, you're a, a few days in, right? Oh, good, Janet. Thank you for sharing where you're located. Janet is a, it must be a Dixie Bell retailer. I did not read all of that. Um, but thank you for sharing and letting us know that. Um, I've got right here, um, the tape that I used was 3M and it's very tacky and I can tell when I'm going to take it off that it's really pulling my piece. 
Uh, one thing that you can do to sort of make sure that when you remove your tape that it doesn't pull paint off is to exactly, Donna, good job, put it on my pants, I put it on my shirt, I put it somewhere and I pull it right back off. I do it just like this. Where, okay, so let's say this is it. Normally before I tape, I pull it off and then I just put it across my shirt and I pull it off or I put it across my leg and then I pull it off. It just takes that extra, extra stickiness off and then I know that it's, it's much better on my furniture, but this is working just fine. But sorry, that's a step that I, I usually always do and I didn't. So, um, but good job, Donna. Donna knows, she's paying attention. Um, you see, yep, yeah, that's right, Vicki. That's right, thank you, Jean. All right, like this. So we're gonna get this side done and then we're gonna move to the other side that was already done and decide how the heck we're gonna utilize those transfer pieces. I just feel like they belong on the footboard. I really do. Um, I wasn't gonna use anything else other than just the um, free spirit transfer that I have up on the headboard, but I really like these little scraggly weeds. <laughs> So I think we're gonna put them on the footboard, but I really have no idea. And I really like that. I like coming on here not knowing exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, I do that in my uh, creative classes. I just did that with my creative class with that big fancy piece that y'all saw me post on Tracy's Fancy last night. Um, that Amar, we did that as a group over a seven week process. We sort of you know, talked amongst ourselves in an online class and said, what are we gonna do now? Well, I'm not sure, what do you think? kind of throw ideas around and it's just a lot more fun to me to do it that way so that it allows you guys to see that you know just because you feel like we know what we're doing we don't always know what we're doing and, and our projects are not always perfect we have fails we do have fails um okay so there we go how easy was that right um jody you know i don't I don't know that they're supposed to be wildflowers. I'm not sure, but it also came with these, um, which I love feathers, but I don't know how I'm supposed to really use them. I just don't know that I could just like, I have this thing about, I love transfers, but I have this thing about them looking like a sticker. Um, like it's just been stuck there. This up here, I felt did not do that because I felt like that that embrace, you know, that really engulfed it and that, that that's a raised area. I felt like that was kind of asking for it. Um, so I don't know, but let's try this. Let's see what happens. So I am going to move over this way a little bit. Let me put this in water and let's do, let's just figure this out together. I'm sure y'all have seen people put transfers on. I've done it myself many times here on live and I know that um, I think almost everyone's using them. Um, this is it right here. It comes with, these come in a, in a tube, rolled up in a tube, and they come with this little stick, which is, I don't know what kind of what it is, but it's kind of. <laughs> it breaks. It's pliable, actually, in all the sticks I've gotten, I've never had one break. That is so funny, but we're gonna, actually, I can just go grab another one. Or I can just use this. It still works. Um, don't, don't. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that, but I always show that. I always say they're very pliable. That's what I was about to say. And then look, oh yeah, they're so pliable that they really are. And they're actually very pretty and very smooth. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay, so. Here we go, we're gonna scoot this sucker down. Oh, it is so heavy. Let me get it about right there, I think. All right, so isn't this so pretty? The footboard is curved and this section is completely sectioned off. I mean, it's got like a little framed out area here and on the other side. I don't know, y'all, I'm feeling like I need to do something with that. Oh, you know what, I do need to get up. I'm used to having Matt out here with me that I can just be like, honey, can you go get me this? Yeah, that would make a great a great gift, wouldn't it? Okay, let me um, let me pop off. I'm gonna go get uh, my scissors. Hold tight because we're gonna trim these up a little bit. They're a little too tall. Hold tight, please hold.
All right. So I don't know, is that three times I've had to get up today? I think it's three times during this video so far that I've had to get up. I know, I love the spread frame, Christina. I do too. Hello, Cheryl, hi. Okay, so we're gonna use, I have two sheets. They've sent me two sheets, so I'm gonna use one on each side. It is not really my intention to go all the way across with these, and there's only, I don't know, the tops are one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's only six. I was kind of thinking about kind of just in this area, like maybe taller and then going down a little bit. What do you think? Like taller and then kind of moving it down over those six, you think? Um, oh, good, Kelly. Okay, good. Well, so we do have someone on here who's never used a transfer. These are smaller. This is definitely a smaller transfer. A lot of the transfers that I use are really big and take up like an entire dresser front or something like that. Um, so these are definitely smaller, but they're, uh, they're so easy, easy, easy to work with. So they come just like this and they are backed with a sheet and then you pull them apart like this. So this is sticky and this part comes off with it. So I always say that they remind me of, you know, when your kids are little and they get the tattoos out of the gumball machine and you know, you put that piece of paper down and you rub the back of it, usually with a wet cloth, not these, but you know, those. You rub and then you kind of keep lifting to see if it started sticking to their skin yet. And it's real super thin and it tears real easily. Um, that is that is how these go on like that, except you just rub with a stick that is not broken. This is a broken one because I just broke it. Um, but it'll still work. So, I'm gonna go ahead and you can cut and manipulate these. Yes, this is Colonel Mustard and Rebel Yellow. So it's two yellows. I call this tone on tone. Um, so you can do this with any colors. It's just a way to add a little bit of whimsy, a little bit of charm and character to your piece without um, you know, being too overpowering. You can use different shades of greens or blues or reds. Or uh, if you saw my crazy piece, if you wanna go check it out on Tracy's Fancy page, um, I posted a crazy piece late last night, a huge, tall, very bold and dramatic armoir, and I did red and pink stripes on the front of it, which I love red and pink together. But um, I used Honky Tonk Red and Light Pink, but I still see that as a tone on tone, but kind of pushing the edge a little bit. You know what I mean? So, um, Marilyn, yes, here we go. So you can cut these too. So I know that I'm not, I know that I just want them, this one is gonna be, if I cut between, that there we go that's down to two can i do that and just make it go a little bit further down and then a little bit further down or do i need to spread it out even more should i spread it out even more if i cut i guess i can do that um I'm trying to decide where i'd go between i guess right here i'm gonna cut in between these two it kind of cuts that off a little bit, but I'm okay with that. All right, so I'm gonna go up like this. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna start it about right here. So I'm kind of cutting the bottom leaves off. I don't know, maybe, maybe I want the stems. What do y'all think? Hmm. I kind of, do you see what I mean? So the stems are on the bottom and I like that because that's where a lot of the color is. Up at the top is these little bubble things. I'm kind of thinking I want more stem. No stems? You, you don't think we should have this crystal? Okay. All right, y'all are saying stems. Now I don't know what, now I don't know what we're calling stems. Okay, I need you to tell me, say the words, cut leaves off or leave leaves on. That's what I need you to say. Cut leaves off or leave leaves on. I'm gonna wait because y'all are delayed and y'all are all saying stems and now I don't remember. Cut the top off and position it lower on the stem. Oh, I see what she's saying. Okay, so you like the tops, Crystal. Oh, y'all are all liking the tops. Hmm. Okay, so someone said to reposition them. That's not a bad idea. This one we don't have to worry about so much because the bottom isn't there anyway. So this one, let's do this one like this. Because this, let's do that. We're just going to cut this one off just like this. 
We're going to do it down here. We'll worry about what y'all are talking about in just, just a minute because we can't. I kind of like the repositioning idea. All right, I'm going to do that. So we just take this and we pull that off just like that. I'm going to angle the camera down. And now y'all are saying leave leaves on. Okay, so we, I kind of like the leaves to be honest. All right, so I'm gonna get this in here like this and I'm gonna straighten it up a little bit and then it's sticky. So you do wanna go ahead and put some pressure. Now, normally you guys, if I weren't on live video, <laughs> I would have this thing laying down on its, I would be laying down. I wouldn't be doing this on a, on a vertical here. Oh, there's something under there. What got on my transfer? Something did. Okay, so then I just wanna, I take my little stick and I'm just gonna scrub it. So just like you do the tattoo with the kids um, and you do it with a wet rag, you do the same sort of thing here, but you're using the stick, just like this. This is so easy, you guys. It makes everyone an artist. I was so opposed to transfers for the longest time because I do art on furniture. I do freehand um, art. I do flowers and faces and animals and food and whatever um, by hand. And I was kind of opposed to this, but then I realized that's really selfish of me to not want to share this as well because not everyone can do that. And this really makes everybody feel like an artist and it gives everyone a masterpiece and you don't have to be. So then you want to slowly start to pull and you can see it releasing. You can see it coming away. That means that we have adhered it really well. All you have to do to make sure is you just pull it, just do it like that from underneath. Let's say you pulled some off and it's no big deal. Just lay it back up and scrub it a little bit harder and keep going. Oh, I love these colors on here. So there we go. Look at that. That is so pretty and I didn't even mean for it to be right there in that stripe. Use the lower part on the taller side area and the tops on the shorter center part of the bed frame. Yeah, so if I cut stuff off, I see what she's saying, I could put them more across the top there. So um, I see what you're saying. Use the lower part, and then if I cut the tops off, I could add them to the middle. That's, that's a good idea, too. I like that idea as well. All right, so here's the next piece. So she's saying that I could use um, the lower part, and then if I cut it, like right there, I could use that top. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut this piece where that stem meets right there. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to go in with my scissors. That seems to look like a good place to make that cut and make this look like one piece. And then if I want, like she said, let me show y'all what it's to cut off. Okay, this is what I cut off, this little short piece. Now that little short piece, if I wanted, I can use it further down the center and it would be like that as we get closer that way. All right, so that is still a little bit too a little, I don't really want it to be quite that tall. I think I'll do it about like that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this off. Take some from the top. All right, I'm gonna pull that off. Yeah, you can get, okay, something's on here. I don't know what I got on here in my garage. You can get so creative with these things, you guys. You can just dissect them as much as you want and use them however you want and wherever you want. All right. So so I'm going to do that about right there. Push that up. Now, let me tell you while I'm working on this what my, what my other ideas are. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to paint this. I, I need another coat of kernel mustard right in here. And then am I going to paint this another color or can I maybe use the colored waxes? Because I really, really love the colored waxes. Has anyone used the colored waxes? See, on your link or the, oh, on my link. Denise, if, so if you go to redesign, if you go to uh, redesign inside Dixie, okay, so my link is there, which takes you to Dixie Bell, and then they have the redesign 
um, section. So they're not, do you think that they're not there yet? Is the one that's called Free Spirit not there yet? They may not have them in stock yet um, on Dixie Bell. I'm not sure, but they, I'm sure they will get them, I'm sure. And they sell out of things so quickly, but this, these two are from their new spring that came out just this past spring. So maybe Dixie Bell's just a little delayed in getting some of those, I don't know. I didn't check, to be honest. Um, anyway, have y'all used the colored waxes because Yes, Kay. So Kay is saying she thinks they'd be beautiful and they come in all different colors um, and Redesign's got a bunch of them as well. So that's kind of what I was thinking that I would do. Look how pretty. I love this. just kind of a silhouette. Isn't that pretty? All right, so let's just keep going here. All right, this is the one that you guys were talking about that's got, this one has a lot of leaves. It's one of these. It's got a lot of the leaves on it. So I do know that I want to use the leaves right now. I just gotta figure out where I can dissect it on this piece. So, I think I'm gonna do it like this. Just however, it's just on a whim, like that. I just cut it out and I want to, I wanna start aim, aiming down a little bit. So maybe if I go ahead and cut that right there, I'm gonna cut the stem stem off. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Um, the gilding waxes are super easy to use. They are. Um, this is gonna fill in, so this needs to be a little bit over because I wanna space that out. So I think I'm gonna cut this top part off right up here and we'll just save that because like I said, we might wanna use some of that towards the middle of the bed here in just a little bit. All right, so there we go, pull that off. Be careful when you pull this off, if you accidentally touch it with your finger as you're you know, spinning it around, you're overly confident, and if you touch it with your finger, it will, it'll pull that off. It'll, it'll pull part of the transfer off. It'll be stuck on your finger, which won't you know, do you any good. So, um, let's do that. Is that straight enough? Y'all think? So guys, we have a grandbaby being being born any day, any day now. Uh, she had to leave work today. She thought she was going into labor. Uh, they're having a, their second little girl. It's my oldest son and his wife. And uh, whew, I am so excited. Today I was like, oh shoot, if she goes into labor, I'm gonna have to tell Dixie Bell I cannot do my video. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, can't do my video. But we made it. We're here. It will be our fifth grandbaby. So see how easy this is, y'all? And these are, this one is actually kind of a tedious one because we're cutting it up and, you know, trying to separate it out. They're usually not even this tedious. I mean, if you just use one of the big ones, they just, they come in usually sections. So they'll come like in three or four sections and you just line them up and scrape them and you're done. And this one plus I'm not getting a lot of leverage <laughs> because I don't have this headboard laid down like I want to. Um, but that would require having someone else video for me. So y'all just watch me sit here like a spider monkey using my feet. Look at me, can y'all see me using my feet holding this thing up? It's probably just a lovely angle for y'all back there. I love the teal up against it. Beautiful. And voila. This is going to be a nice touch. I really like it with uh, the bed up at the top. Y'all want to get another view up here? Oh, Donna has 17 grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. Holy cow, Donna. I had four kids, and I don't think I'm going to get 17 grandkids. Um... But I'm good with getting, I, I should probably get two more out of my older kids. And then, you know, I still have a, I have a 12 year old still at home. So, you know, there's a few more down the road, but that's way down the road. Okay, so I'm saving my tops, you guys. I have, right now I have two tops and a kind of a top, if that's, if y'all want to call, that's a, a real scrap right there. 
Um, see, Donna got 17 grandbabies out of five kids. You raised them right, didn't you? Uh, you know what, guys, I'm thinking about? If I get this done on one side with you guys tonight, and then, of course, I'll do the rest, and I won't do this with y'all anymore. I'm going to just post it when it's finished. But I'm kind of thinking that maybe the top of a feather or two might not look bad kind of down in here. What do y'all think about that? What do y'all think? Linda's got 18 grand loves. Only one boy. Linda, I forgot. I remember you telling me that. Um, and then the gilding waxes. Let me show you before it gets too late, okay? Because I need someone. Can someone tell me how long we've been on? I don't have a watch on tonight. Uh, let me show you. So these are some of the gilding waxes. This is one that I love. That is Dixie Bells, and it's called Green Patina. It comes in these little tins, just like this, little tin. And, oh, Crystal says we've been on 45 minutes, so we're gonna have to go. Um, this is Green Patina, and it has like a metallic sheen to it. Isn't that gorgeous? Wouldn't that be gorgeous with that? That would be really, really pretty with that. I like that a lot. So we could do that up there. We could do several colors in there, actually. Um, Let's see, here is, oh, this one's really pretty. This one is by, this one's called Indian Pink and it's by Redesign. So look at these two together. The uh, green patina of Dixie Bell and then the Indian Pink by Redesign, isn't that gorgeous? That would be really, really, really pretty with, um, with, the, tr with the transfers. What you think? What you think? But I don't really want to put that on here yet, guys, because I'm trying to decide if I'm going to squeeze in some other colors up here as well. I'm not real sure. So, um, so that's that. I think we're going to have to close y'all because they really don't like us going more than 45 minutes. And I, all, I, could, I could be on here for two hours easily and we kind of get in trouble. Kelly, you like, you like it? Blend both? Okay, Dana's saying to work with both of them. I know. They are... They are so gorgeous. I have another one. Um, Hammered Copper by Dixie Bell is so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? Um, okay. Hold on. Someone said it, so I can't say no. Let's just do this real quick, you guys, real quick. Let's put, I'm gonna put a little bit of, well, I'm gonna put a little bit of this, green patina on there. Hold on. I'm just using a small brush. All right, come in close. And then we're gonna have to go. Maybe we'll use different colors. Let me use this one. It dropped a little bit. So I just made an executive decision and went with it, right? So let me get a little bit of this Indian pink. I'm gonna do some Indian pink down here in the middle. We'll just kind of blend them out together. They go on like paint. They rub all the way down into your details. That's what I like to do is get them in there and then we'll rub off excess. You'll see in just a second, or you don't have to, but I like, they blend and they blend like paint. So they sort of change colors and, and morph out on their colors a little bit. And I love that. So I just got my artist brush and I'm just getting deep in all those cracks and I'll show you in just a second what happens. Um, so now I'm gonna use that hammered copper I'll put that up here. Y'all liking? <laughs> Sorry, Dixie Belle, I just wanna wrap this up right here. They said they had never seen the waxes before, so I feel like I needed to show them. You can get the colored waxes, you guys. Um, you can go and see the different colors that Dixie Belle has to offer. And uh, they are in, you can use my affiliate link there. There we go. How gorgeous is that, right? And then I don't even have, I don't even have a 
a cloth here to wipe that back. Hold on, you don't have to wipe it back, but let me show you. <laughs> She's saying you're all good, I just got permission. Okay, hold on. I really do try to, <clears throat> I, I really do try to follow the rules. <laughs> But I get a little carried away. I know. Isn't that gorgeous? Look up close. I want to see. So, I remember, I've got to go back in and fill this in with another coat. And I got a little bit of the wax right up there on the top. But I'm not worried about it. But isn't that gorgeous? It's kind of rainbowed out. And I'm not, I don't have my light up here real close. So, you're not getting a really good view of the color with the light. Let's see if I can do this. Can you see that? Oh, my gosh. I am just not good at this with my camera. <laughs> okay, so then you can take a cloth if you want and kind of rub off if you want so it's not so bold or you can leave it, but I like, I like that. And what I think would be really gorgeous around it is if I end up doing a color wash or waxing the bed and um, or using Dixie Dirt um, to get in all these little cracks around here or even to put like a black wax on top of that would be so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. Um, so, um, I think that's it, you guys. We're gonna have to go, but that looks really good with the transfer. Look how good that looks. And I think right over here, if you will watch for it, guys, if y'all will just follow me on Tracy's Fancy, I'll be posting when I get this piece finished. But I'm, my ideas for over here are to do like a color wash where I'm gonna blend down. I have these colors in mind. Let me show you real quick. I have got um, the, uh, the flea market reclaimed barn and the flea market patina, which is gorgeous. And then I'm also, this is my Dixie Belle Peacock. So I'm thinking about using these three colors together and doing like a color wash from the top down to the bottom and blending all of those down and really, really um, accentuating the side curved panel here on both sides. And then I'll add a few more of the transfer swigs, sprigs, and then finish doing the molding like I did with the with the waxes there, okay? Um, Samantha, welcome to the Using Dixie Bell products. They will change your life <laughs> forever. So I know, I like that combo too. I like it a lot, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. So when I finish the bed, I will post it. I will list all of the products that I used. Thank you guys so much. An hour always goes by way too fast. It's never enough time. Um, come see us in California, the end of September. Check it out on Redesign or Dixie Bell's page and um, paint with us in person. I would love that, okay? Thanks so much, you guys. Share, share, share. Oh, Sue, good to see you on here. Good to see you. That'd be awesome, you guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys uh, next Wednesday on my page or the following Wednesday. I'll be back here every other Wednesday, okay? Thank you. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.